Hey loves, I am off again to meet Angie this morning for another hike. This time we're actually going in the opposite direction. We usually go north to Ocala, but today we are going south to Lake Wales to Lake Kissimmee State Park. I'm currently in Orlando. I've been doing a camera gig here for the past week, so I'm staying with a friend of mine. It is about an hour and a half drive or so. I have to stop for some water. Today is going to be quite a long hike. I think it's going to be about eight to nine miles. I should have left about 35 minutes ago, but I just kept hitting the snooze button. I could not get out of bed. Any of you guys know what that's like? So I'm going to get on the road. I'm going to eat some breakfast on the way. I... I've tried some regular Cliff Bars and I've absolutely hated them. And this is the chocolate chip peanut crunch. I love chocolate, I love peanut butter, and I hope this isn't disgusting. <laughs> also, I have a Red Bull to try to wake up. This is not a Red Bull or Cliff Bar commercial. <laughs> I'm just letting you know what I'm having for breakfast. <laughs> All right, enough talk. I need to drive, because I'm gonna be late. getting here uh, I was an hour late we were supposed to meet at 8 I didn't get here until 9 we just a few minutes ago started the trail I will show you on the map which route we were taking and I will insert that footage here we started here at the trailhead
and went here. So here you can decide if you want to connect back to the yellow trail and just go back that way, which is the six mile loop. Or you can connect to the blue trail, which is what we decided to do. So we connected here at 36 after we crossed the road to 34. Uh, it crosses the road here and unfortunately it's not clearly marked as to where the entrance is on the other side of the road. And instead of meeting the trail, uh, finding where it crossed over, we ended up coming down here instead and being in the campground loop. And we just followed this back along to this trail here and back through the back way into the parking lot. So we just started the yellow trail. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Uh, it's about 9.35 and probably already 92 degrees or so. Just a few days ago, it was the first day of summer. However, here in Florida, it's been summer since about March. <laughs> See if I get high. Imagine a cliff bar and Red Bull for breakfast did not go very well on a hike. I think I made it to just after mile number six. Since I was late, I convinced myself that three fourths of a small bottle of water was enough to get me through an eight to nine mile hike. Negative. I felt extremely nauseous. I was really fatigued. I had absolutely no energy. I had to have my friend drive my car around to the front of the parking lot where we were sitting after we finally made it back so I didn't have to walk all the way to the end of the parking lot. Then I had to sit in my car with my AC on full blast and sleep for 30 minutes just in order to regain some energy. So I'm gonna give you five tips of things that are good to do before and during hiking. 
All right, so tip number one, hydrate the night before. Drink plenty of water. Hydrating will help your body for the hike the next day. Tip number two, eat a healthy breakfast. Don't go too light, you still need some nourishment in your body, however, don't go too heavy either, because if you eat too much, then your body will be dragging while you're walking. Tip number three, I would recommend one of the 16.9 fluid ounce bottles of water for every three miles that you're walking. So if you're doing a three mile hike, I think one small bottle of water will be sufficient. If you're doing nine miles, I think you need at least three of those bottles of water. However, that being said, I'm just giving the equivalent. We are very eco-friendly around here, so plastic bottles of water, not good for the environment. I would recommend getting one of the large metal canisters that you can refill. They're very eco-friendly and you can reuse them, so you're not contributing to the tons and tons of plastics that go into our oceans every year and kill a lot of wildlife. Tip number four. <laughs> Tip number four. I suggest bringing a hat and sunscreen. Both of these will help with your overall health. The hat will help to keep the sun off your head directly and the sunscreen will help shield your skin from the UV rays from the sun. I usually put sunscreen on my face, my shoulders, and right here on my chest. If there's any area that's exposed that my shirt is not covering, also be aware of days that are overcast. Just because there's clouds in the sky doesn't mean that you're not going to get sunburned. A lot of people make this mistake. They think because the clouds are diffusing the sun that they're not at risk for sunburn or skin cancer. However, that's not true. Tip number five, rest periodically. This is probably one of the most important. This gets tricky when you're hiking with a large group of people uh, because some people will want to move faster, some people will move slower. That's why I really enjoy hiking with a small intimate group of people because then communication is a lot easier. Self-care is extremely important. Resting periodically will rejuvenate you a little bit. If you just go, 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 as soon as you hit the end of the trail, if you make it to the end of the trail, you're going to be absolutely exhausted. And it's good to feel tired, it's good to feel like you exercised, but you also don't want to be unhealthy. If you have any other comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue on my gallivanting adventures, please hit the subscribe button below. Until next time, I leave you with revolutionary love and rage. Horsefly. <laughs>